I have no thoughts of marriage at all. Should not a good marriage be based on mutual love and affection? Standing on the platform Watching you That go. is a portrait of Sydney, my younger brother. It's like no other pain I've ever known. Sydney. This is Miss Charlotte Hayward. I love someone so much. Hayward. Have no control. He can be abrupt and inattentive like he was just now with you. But he has a good heart. You said I want to see the world. And I said, go. He's had some bruising experiences in the past. I'd like to see him settled, but I fear it's not in his nature. But I think I'm lost without you. I just feel crushed without you. Cause I've been strong for so long. My word, Miss Hayward, you are very free with your opinions. I don't think you're bad for me. Think too bad? I don't think of you at all, Miss Hayward. I have no interest in your approval or disapproval. Quite simply, I don't care what you think or how you feel. And if you really don't care, I wonder that you take the trouble to be quite so offensive and hurtful. Haywood, for example, she's got a bit of spunk about her. I must admit, Miss Hayward, you've uh, given a good account of yourself today. I should never have expected you to be so uh, capable. Because I'm a young woman? Or because up until now you've dismissed me as frivolous? Well, a little of both, I dare say. Forgive me. your opinion and actually for once I think there is some small uh, what do you say I've been meaning to say our meeting down at the coves so I hope you weren't too embarrassed why should I be embarrassed I was fully clothed yes very good point 
It's hardly fair of you to uh, ambush me like that. I can assure you it was not deliberate on my part. No, mine. Well, then. Well, then. Can we not rewrite our history if we find it disagreeable? Shame on that account. My brother's merits are often slow to advertise themselves. <laughs> Perhaps he's an acquired taste, then, sir. Miss Harry. Thank you. It's a role I neither thought nor asked for. Of course not. Because you were determined to remain an outlier. God forbid you give something of yourself. Please do not presume to know my mind, Miss Hayward. How can anyone know your mind? 
He take pains to be unknowable. All I know is that you cannot bear the idea of two people being in love. And what do you know of love? Apart from what you've read. I would sooner be naive than insensible of feeling. judgment but now I see that I've been blinded by sentiment and naivety and I've got it all so wrong no wonder your brother has such a poor opinion of me <laughs> I am certain that is not the case Sydney can be hard to read that is all here's a conundrum but a conundrum can be solved he seems so determined to keep the world at arm's length. That wasn't always the case. A broken engagement? Eliza, they were very much in love. But at the last moment, she passed him over in favor of an older and wealthier man. I fear the man he was. Never quite returned. How can a man begin to make amends? Tell his wife to face his own fault. Why did you pay your way to this dance? I came to the realization that a good man shouldn't be condemned for one terrible mistake. As I see that he's a good man who made one terrible mistake. Because I'm the one that should apologize. I've done you a great discourtesy. If I should ever fall in love, it would not be with a man like him. My dear girl, you cannot determine who you fall in love with. You did not have to ask me. 
How's politeness? It's what people do at dances, is it not? Dance. Unless you'd rather not. It's only. There are so many other ladies here that you could ask. But I don't want to dance with them. Strangers are rushing past, just trying to get home. their chance of happiness after all. Miss Haywood. Mr. Parker. I might wait for you downstairs, if you don't mind. No. Not at all. You know how sharp the agony of separation can be. Yes. Fate has a strange way of surprising even the most jaded amongst us. You're not nearly as unfeeling as you pretend. Well, if that is the case, I would ask you to keep it to yourself. I have a reputation to uphold. The secret is safe with me. feeling you've wanted something impossible for so long and suddenly it's within your grasp who did you say that girl was uh, miss haywood she's a guest of my brother and mary's she is rather a sweet little thing Man cannot step into the same river twice. Have you ever heard that? He is not the same man, he's not the same river. It's Heraclitus. Yes. I had convinced myself that I was destined to remain alone. That 
I was ill-suited for matrimony. I don't believe that anybody is truly ill-suited to marriage. Not even you. <laughs> I suppose it's just a question of compatibility. on your mind. There seems little point considering marriage until you've found someone you'd wish to marry. Wait, 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 wait. Is that all I am to you? A source of amusement? No, of course not, you. Forgive me. On the contrary, you've done me a great service. I'm no longer in any doubt as to how you regard me. Say what? What? What is it you want from me? Here we are. Fate has gifted us a second chance. Campion would be heading back to London. She's already left. I decided against joining her. On reflection, I realized I would rather be here. I, uh, I'm a great deal less than perfect. You've made me all too aware of that, but for whatever it's worth, I believe I am my best self, my truest self.
Do you remember the last conversation we had on this balcony? Well, too well. What a brute I was. I deserved everything you said. No, you didn't. I hope that I'm a different man now. No. You're the same man. But much improved. If I have changed at all, it is in no small part down to you. I have never wanted to put myself in someone else's power before. I've never wanted to care for anyone but myself. Turn then. We'll finally have a chance to finish our conversation. What is it? Charlotte. My dear Charlotte. The fact is I have been obliged to engage myself to Mrs. Eliza Campion. Please believe me, if I didn't think there was any other way to resolve Tom's situation, I would... I understand. She's not half the woman you are, Charlotte. If he can't see that, he doesn't deserve you. Standing on the platform Watching you go I've 